Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Jere Priya. Like you know, I am making the videos just from a point of view of a student. Okay, I'm not a teacher. I'm not telling that I will teach you everything, but I will give you a track. Okay, so that you can find it easy to go for UGC NET exam. Okay. Uh, now um, this video will be for paper one, as you have come to know out of my uh, you know thumbnail. The thing is that like. You know, uh, as when I was a student, now still I am a student. But when I was preparing for this exam, I was also thinking that if somebody will give you, give us a you know glimpse uh, from where we can understand that okay, these topics we should target and this topic we should skip. So it will be very good. Now um, I am also going to help you by giving you a track. Okay, uh, see, uh, if you you will find one thing that uh, you know when you will analyze the PYQs, now you will understand one thing that uh, some topics like people and development, higher education and also some parts of ICT from where unknown questions will come. Okay, Every time they will ask you some unknown questions. But there are some other units like out of those three units we have also seven units from which the questions will come from the same topics, from the same units. Okay, For example, research aptitude, Okay, we don't see much, uh, you know, difficult questions or new questions from that unit and also logical reasoning. Logical reasoning is such a unit where you can get, you know, more marks in less study. And how I am going to tell you in this video. See, first of all, the, you must know that, uh, okay, in logical reasoning, we have to target 5 out of 5, okay. And uh, when you analyze the PYQs, you will find that, you know, some frequently asked questions are there okay for example like they will ask you about fallacies they will ask you about argument they will ask you about uh, you know square of oppositions so i am going to tell you some topics that you can make a list out of that and then you can find it in google or in other youtube channels okay because i'm not a teacher i'm not going to teach you anything but uh, you know i when i was preparing i was also facing the same problem so I thought why not making a video so that you can get a track okay, uh, by which you can follow your goal. Now you know when you uh, see the question papers you will find that there are uh, topics like argument. Okay, What is argument? You have to know that. Argument is like uh, when a topic becomes you know an argument by getting some rules. And what are those rules? Three things you have to remember, like argument has one structure, that is premise one, premise two and conclusion, right? Now, um, you know, it has it has been further divided into other parts, for example, a strong uh, argument, weak argument, valid argument, invalid argument and also true and false premise. So you have to know all those things and uh, you can go to any YouTube channels and then search for, you know, argument uh, in logical unit logical reasoning then you can find and number two is that you know that is the most commonly asked questions and that is square of opposition you will be given four alphabets like a e i o and then you know a is like universal uh, positive e like universal negative and i like particular positive and o like particular negative so you have to make a chart out of, out of that okay and uh, one also important you know uh, important topics in square of opposition is like you have to know what is contrary what is sub contrary what is subaltern and what is uh, you know contradictions these four things you have to know and make a chart out of them out of them and then uh, you know you can also use a flashcard like i'm going to share you uh, my own flashcard like you can see i used to like make the flashcard like this you can see huh, uh, like a for true then e for false so like they will ask you in such a tricky way that you will get confused if you don't know it well okay so um, you know remember this by uh, like reading it for each and every day and then you will remember and you will get a good marks out of that because uh, see square of opposition is such a unit like two questions will definitely you will see in the examination hall and that is a guarantee okay now um, you know the three things that when you know when we are giving exam by sitting in India, so there is a chance that uh, they will ask you about Indian logic. Okay, 
so um, you know in indian uh, logic of a school there is only one school other school we have but uh, from a school called naya school n y a y a so that is uh, you know most popular school from which the questions will come definitely and you know this school has given some philosophy and what is that philosophy like you know uh, when we uh, when we find any knowledge so how we will find that like this is called pramana okay you have to know some sanskrit term as well okay this is called pramana that's means source of knowledge and this pramana is further divided into six parts one is perception like from where we get we get knowledge that is perception like direct perception when we pratyaksha that is called pratyaksha okay when we perceive the things we get the knowledge okay and the second one is anuman anuman means inference okay uh, where we can just uh, do guesswork and then we we get the knowledge right and the third one is upaman upaman means like when we compare things okay and the fourth uh, fourth thing is that um, arthpati you know arthpati means implications okay simply implications where you imply that this is the truth and then the you know the um, fifth thing is that uh, anupalakti anupalakti means not apprehensible okay and the last one is verbal testimony like verbal testimony is very interesting like uh, you know that is sabda when you are asking a route okay for something like if you are asking that okay i i want to go to taj mahal and somebody is telling you that okay in this way you can go taj mahal so you you do believe him okay you do believe him because it is his verbal testimony you don't check uh, him that okay whether he is telling truth or not but you just believe in his verbal testimony so that is sabda okay so from this thick six things we get knowledge that is all about indian logic and this all uh, you know uh, this all uh, source of knowledge will give you one example and these examples are very uh, you know interesting and these are all universal example nt will only ask these examples only so you you will remember and you will get a questions out of that and this uh, you know in this uh, like source of pramanas are also further divided into many sections so you can go and check that okay now uh, next comes you know the western logic okay that uh, has been given by the greek philosophers so you can go and check uh, out of that uh, check that now you know uh, for those western uh, logic you have to uh, make the argument also and you can uh, make your note and you can revise them now comes the most important topic that is fallacies because nowadays fallacies are being asked uh, in every seats okay Uh, now what is fallacy fallacy means false and there are two kinds of fallacy one is indian fallacy and second one is western fallacy for indian fallacy to uh, you know that is popularly known as hetha bhas okay and that are all five kinds one is uh, you know satpati paksha then swabhichara then viruddha then ashi uh, ashidha and then uh, you know badhita these are all uh, five fallacies and um, they have some universal examples okay so you have to make a list of all the examples and then you are done okay because uh, no different different example will come in this exam only those questions only those examples will come and the next is western fallacies western fallacies are the most interesting thing i love that okay because uh, i love to you know i love to test myself whether i can remember everything or not for example like western fallacies are so many fallacies because you know in this uh, exam of march february march exam this is an exam like uh, every seats there was a fallacy and different kind of fallacies so you have to know that and uh, you can go to youtube there are so many teachers who are providing you all the you know western fallacies from which you can prepare it well and uh, like i'm giving you one example of western fallacy uh for example that is a fallacy called uh, appeal to ignorance okay and what is that like uh, like you know we know all about global warming okay but there is no proof of that okay and if somebody comes and tell that tells that okay no i will not believe global warming just because there is no proof so you know uh, it doesn't mean that if there is no proof that doesn't mean it does not exist right so that is called appeal to ignorance so there are other fallacies too you have to remember like red herring fallacy then hasty generation slippery slope and ad hoc fallacy ad populum fallacy 
So these are all the palaces to so make a list and uh, then you remember everything. And I'm going to show you how in how many pages I have completed my own notes. I did not, uh, you know, uh, make my notes with a whole copy for logical reasoning. No, that was not the case. I uh, took only few pages. I'm going to show you. Here you can see like few pages and then I make a list out of them, out of them and then plus I have done. And then I used to like make my maps. You, you have seen this, okay? And uh, yeah, so these are all the things about logical reasoning. And if you find any kind of help um, through this video, then please subscribe and like my channel. Like my channel. And uh, do please give your precious comments so that I can get inspired. And I will make some other videos as well. So okay, bye bye.